I know something looks completely off right now and it's the fact that I look like I'm dressed for winter. Mother Nature decided to be a stone cold hola. Y bienvenido a Styling Your Lipstick. El pintalabio que tengo puesto para este video is by Bite Beauty and it's called... I just looked at it and I forgot. <laughs> Cinnamon Twist. I love these. They taste like candy. Even though I do not look springy and it does not feel springy here in New York City. So we're gonna flip the script and wear white boots. Huge ideas, inspiration, tips, advice on wearing white boots for spring. Let's get into it bitches. First and foremost, the boot that I will be wearing throughout this video. You know I love boots. These are by Seagerson Morrison. I got these quite a few years back actually. Last time I wore this was four years ago. For New Year's, sorry. And it's because that year, I remember clearly, my dad was super sick and he was in his bed. And we had people around because it was New Year's. I wore black. Dad was wearing a red t-shirt. My mom was wearing a red. And so I decided to just wear like a white pair of boots with it. So that um, maybe, I don't know, it could bring us some light and joy. I love them. And now they bring a different meaning to me because it just makes me think of my dad now. Okay, first outfit. Black and white is nothing new. But wearing black on top and white shoes it's a little bit more refreshing i know it's not like i'm moving mountains no shocker nothing out of the ordinary here right but keep in mind that for new yorkers something like this is a breath of fresh air two don't be afraid to wear lighter colors on your feet when you're donning something darker on the top scratch that shit Go ahead and scratch that, throw that out the door because look how nice this looks. Black dress with white shoes, white heels, white sandals. It's beautiful, it's refreshing. Something a little bit more unique. I mean, of course you can go with red, silver, you can do anything with black. But I know out of default, so many people opt out on wearing white shoes. But look how beautiful this looks especially now for the spring just nobody better ever step on me while wearing these boots or else next is pairing your white shoes with denim on them look how stunning this is it's just amazing to me sometimes how a difference in color makes a world of a difference again like i say i'm from new york city so wearing white shoes actually stands out i don't know how it is in Florida and white, white might be a little bit more conducive to the environment. But here, when you see someone wear white, it stands up. And so wearing denim on denim with white shoes, it has just like this uber cool streetwear aesthetic that I really love. Play with like the different shades of denim. I know that you've heard many times before, as have I, you have to wear the same denim wash. Scratch that shit. Rules are for wusses. If it looks good, it looks good. Next is the color that I've been obsessing over these past few months, quite frankly. I've been into sage. I've been into like that cool tone olive greens. I don't know what came over me, but it came over me and it's a mainstay. This one is all about taking the white boot and pairing it with a soft color, a cool soft color, a very millennial type of color. And this can run the gamut from like millennial pinks to this beautiful cool tone sagey green number to like heather grays to like powder blues play with those type of colors khakis those oatmeal colors and pair it with white Mwah! chef's kiss bitches look how beautiful this is this is what i'm working with because this is the colors that i love i took this dress and paired it with a similar tone t-shirt under just to bring it down a little bit because I'm not gonna go to a party. This is me on a weekend. Next time, take your white boots, shoe, pair it with those modernistic, simplistic colors and watch your outfit transform. If I do say so myself. Next is going nude. Don't cut your chickens before they hatch. Slow down. I know you got overly excited there, but none of us are gonna go around nude, especially for free. I love this. 
I love wearing nudes all of a sudden because I'm embracing all kinds of colors, all types of colors. Wear your white shoes with nudes and make it monochromatic, like really commit to it. Go nude, the khaki beige color, whatever you want to call it. Your whole ensemble, your whole outfit with white shoes. Look how beautiful this looks. Oh, refreshing, very springy, very different. A little bit more nuanced, a little bit more unique. Nothing new, but what the fuck is new nowadays, right? Wear nudes, monochromatic, from head to toe, and then wear your white shoes. And look how beautiful this looks. Am I tweeting my own heart? I think I am. And lastly is the almost all white look. We all know that we can wear white shoes with all white. It's a given. So I did the almost all white. Wear white with your white shoes, but then inject some kind of pattern in there to change it up for yourself. That's what I did here. I'm wearing white shorts. And instead of wearing a white shirt, went ahead and wore a patterned shirt to inject a little bit more color but still have the white vibe because your girl running around New York City is not about to wear all white even though I still would wear all white but you know you gotta be extra careful wearing all white and very trepidatious on wearing all white because sometimes you just don't want to wear white because it's a little bit scary to wear all white because you're gonna get dirty so sometimes you just want to inject a little bit more color to kind of break it up for yourself just in case you do get dirty hmm? you feel me pick out that shirt in your closet that has white but it's full of patterns. Wear with your white jeans, white shorts, white skirt, and your white boots and you're good to go. A little bit more unique, a little bit more focused, a little bit more fresher, and definitely more stylish. Which one will you be trying out with your fine white shoes?